All right, one more, um, one more thing I want to do is just show you the pipe for uh, these two arms right here. Um, and so essentially what you need to do, you already have your, your apex points, right? So those are, are your um, apex points right here. Um, we need to map those back to each of the endpoints of the original surface. So, um, or rather the uh, reparametrized surface. So I'm gonna trace this back and try to just isolate where that reparametrized surface was again. I don't think it was these. It was these, yeah, these ones. So these ones, um, and let me turn them, I'm gonna turn all these excess surfaces and stuff off. No, I need those on. Uh, I don't know where the uh, surface is that's on now. Not that. This? Okay, yeah, it's this one. <clears throat> um, all right, so the, the surfaces that we want to work on are these original surfaces right here. Um, and we want to isolate the endpoints for it. So we actually do have rail points that are already generated. Um, but we're, they're not really in a format that we can isolate it in a clean way right now. Um, they're in groups of two, and they compete with one another. They're going kind of left and right. And so ultimately, I think what, what um, it's going to go left, right, left, right, left, right, I think. I think what I want to do is just figure out what it's going to look like when it gets flattened and see if I can isolate it using a simple list item right on this. So I'm going to put that on the points and oops, slider. All right, so it's going 0 and then 1 on that rail. But if that list gets flattened, it's going to be a 0 and then a 1. So the cool thing is I think that should apply for both sides. So if I pull this one in instead, the 0 and the 1 is um, 0, 1. Okay, cool. Yeah, so they're, they're um, mirrored opposites. So that's going to work out well for us. Um, as long as those lists are flattened, we can just isolate the zero and the one for each one, and that'll work out fine. So um, that's, this is how I'm going to do this. I'm going to list item, but I'm only going to list item, um, I'm only going to list item at once. So I'll flatten it here, and I'll do a panel that says zero and one take it off of multi-line data, when I plug that in, I should get a list that actually shows both line items in one list. Okay, so the cool thing about that is um, with both of those line items in one list, I can take, and the, those were east, right? Yeah, east rail points. So I take my arch apex point, pair it up with those rail points, and all I have to do is just draw a line from both of the rail points to the apex point. So that's under curve and line, and I, I should be able to just draw these two um, back to one another, like that. And then I can do the same thing for uh, the other side, so that would be these west rail points going to look like that at first, but um, once you change your apex point, it'll it'll match. So let me grab my west apex point. Okay, there you go. So now I've got both of those there. And um, so these are, are sort of a, another separate attachment. Um, but the cool thing about this particular attachment is that they also feed right back into the pipe that I want for this. So I can just kind of add these in and they'll pipe as well. Any questions? 
Simple enough, right? Um, there might, in some cases, be some um, you know, cleanliness errors, but we're sort of not really in a position right now to to isolate those. The one, the connections inside the uh, the other pipe rail, because it's much larger, don't really matter. But this one's pretty close to one another, so that one might give you a, a small graphic error depending on how it's published. Okay, so there's one more thing we need to do for this in order to get it to operate properly. And I'm going to do that in the, ne in the next video, but uh, I just want to make sure that you guys are okay now and caught up before I proceed. Any questions? Comments? Concerns? Yes. Okay. Let me skip through that very quickly. I know, I know. <laughs>